What's up, everyone? It's Carolyn here with you today on this beautiful Thursday in August. I'm so stoked to be here with you today for this cartoon game. I was a big cartoon watcher growing up, and mostly Looney Tunes, though, I will say. That was like a Saturday tradition in our house. Barbara of Seville, I mean, what an icon. Bugs Bunny in Barbara of Seville. Like, you, you just, that's the iconic cartoon for me. That and, I mean, anything Elmer Fudd, of course, Roadrunner. It's just, it's Looney Tunes for me. But I, I was reading all your comments about the cartoons that you love, and it was bringing me a lot of nostalgia. I saw someone said Ed, Ed, and Ed. Eddie, which is, is funny to me because my husband is Eddie and then our baby is Eddie too. And we just need one more and then we'll have the full trio, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I saw Simpsons in there, a classic, Tom and Jerry. Also wanted to say hey to Plant Grammy. I saw you said hi, what's up? Uh, and I also saw Howard Murray, 1369, Dragon Ball Z. I have to tell you, my husband is like the biggest Dragon Ball Z fan. Like clearly you and he would get along. We actually, uh, our son has a stuffed Goku in his nursery. Like that's like other people have teddy bears and my child has a stuffed Goku. Apparently also my sister-in-law, so my husband's sister, her first word as a baby was Goku. So we'll, we'll see if it happens for, uh, for our son too, but we're, we're big Dragon Ball Z people, or at least the, the, the men in this household currently are, our Dragon Ball Z people. Also wanted to shout out the first timers. Welcome. Welcome. We're so excited to have you here with us at Swag Bucks, a daily trivia live. There's there's just so much fun to be had here. Also, I did see someone say that they were hoping that Hal would mention Goofy today. Hal, unfortunately, is is not here on the mic with you today. You get me, but I myself will mention Goofy for you. So here, here you are, Goofy, Goofy reference. I have a friend, by the way, who loves the Goofy movie so much that her husband only lets her watch it once per year. They have to have a limit in their household, which I just think is, is hilarious. But you know what, y'all? Life is like a hurricane here at Swag Bucks. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a quiz blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. And our final Cartoon Week edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Dive into the money bin as you play for today's grand prize. That's $1,000. That's right. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice trivia questions about cartoons, you'll win your share of it. Now, in this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one. Even if you've already been eliminated, if you win the game, they're automatically added to your prize. Otherwise, you'll have to claim them at the end of the game to keep them. The first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SB or with a free rejoin. Click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. Simple enough. This is the final game of Second Chance Week, which means you're getting three, count them, three free rejoins just for playing the game. They'll be credited before Tuesday's game begins. Also, each game we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are Wednesday's winners. One moment. There we go. Feisty's Fun, Bingo Queen, Kutek, Enid, VO, Annie, amazing. You've already been credited. Everyone else, keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. Yes, you. Now that you're up to speed, you know what? Let's get this party started. Here's question number one. Where do the Transformers originally come from? Cybertron, Mars, or Earth? The Transformers, where were they originally from? I have to say, I wasn't a big Transformers watcher. Uh, but, you know, I kind of like dived into it a little bit here and there. Decimated by Civil War, the Autobots and Decepticons bring their battle to Earth because there's no point in going back to Cybertron since they brought all the Energon with them. Cybertron is the answer, 14,000. 458 of you, 96% of you got that right, which I consider a strong start to our game. We transformed the question to an answer. Let's get moving though. Our next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number two. What does Elmer Fudd always tell people to do? Make a wad of noise, be very, very quiet, or whisten up? We're looking for Elmer Fudd. I, I, like I told you, Looney Tunes is like Probably my favorite set of cartoons. Just it's it looms so large in my nostalgic brain, you know, the nostalgic part of my brain. The last thing Elmer Fudd needs is to have you making a bunch of racket and scaring off the wascoy wabbit. So be very, very quiet when he's hunting. Fourteen thousand five hundred forty-two of you, ninety-five percent of you got that right, which just makes my heart happy. Well done on the Looney Tunes question there. And since we're crushing it, we'll keep moving. Our next question is going to be worth one bonus SB as well. Here is question number three. 
Who are Donald Duck's nephews? Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Chip and Dale, or Alvin, Simon, and Theodore? We are looking for Donald Duck's nephews here. Who are those nephews of Donald Duck? Which, do we ever see their parent? Does their parent ever feature? It, write me in the chat. I don't remember their parent ever featuring, but maybe I'm wrong. They are an eternal thorn in Uncle Donald's side, and they starred with their great Uncle Scrooge in DuckTales. They're Huey, Dewey, and Louie. 14,887 of you, 99% of you got that right. Wow, well done on that one, you guys. We'll keep going. Our next question's also worth one bonus SB. Here is question number four. What was the profession of Hong Kong Fooey's alter ego? Bus driver, secretary, or janitor? Sometimes I like to think about what my alter ego would be if I was a superhero. Like, what? You know, we got, we got newspaper reporter. That's, I feel like that's, that's the big one. But anyway, he works at the police station so he can get tipped off on crime as its reporter. Who would suspect that the humble janitor is secretly the number one guy? 12,440 of you, 84% of you got that right. Okay, so we lost a few more people on that question. But I know you've been playing all week long. It's a second chance week. You've got your three free rejoins per game this week. So come on back in our game. There's just lot, lots more fun cartoon trivia coming at you right now. Our next question is going to be worth one bonus SB as well. Here is question number five. Which of the following cartoon characters was originally a dog? Betty Boop, Karate Cat, or Jabberjaw? This, of course, was one of our hint questions. So if you're not following Swagbucks Official over on Instagram, definitely do that after the game. Uh, that's where you're going to get those hints for our Thursday games. Sometimes it takes a little while to get a cartoon character just right, and that can include changing the species. Betty Boop evolved from a dog to a lady. 9,444 of you. Okay, only 66% of you got that right. So we lost about a third of you on that question uh not to worry i know you've got those rejoins coming back in our game and again like i said that's one of our hint questions that was a question that had a hint video so if you're not following swagbucks official over on instagram that's where you can get those check that out after the game our next question is going to be worth one bonus sb here is question number six what is the name of the main female smurf smurfina smurfette or smurfula and also, if you have a favorite Smurf adventure, write me in the chat. I, I myself was not, similarly to Transformers, not a huge Smurf watcher, but, you know, if you have recommendations, I'm open to them. Originally created by Gargamel as a plant to help him destroy the Smurfs, Papa Smurf helps her redeem herself, and in the process, Smurfette goes from black hair to blonde hair. 12,524 of you, 98% of you got that right. We came roaring back with that question. No one's blue on that one. Our next question is going to be worth one bonus SB. Here is question number seven. The Venture Brothers started as a riff on what other famous animated series? Clutch Cargo, Johnny Quest, or Birdman? And again, this was one of our hint videos, or we had a hint video for this question. So at Swagbucks Official, that's where you should be following. The Venture Brothers is a smart, funny send up of everything from 80s New Wave to comic books to Miller's Crossing, but it's based on the idea of what would happen if Johnny Quest grew up to be a failure. 11,714 of you, 93% of you got that right. Wow, well done. We, I feel like we crushed that question, especially this late in the game. So well done on that one, everyone. And it looks like we've got some rejoiners too. Incredible. Excuse me. Our next question is going to be worth one bonus SB. Here is question number eight. Which cartoon character is accompanied by the Teen Angels? Johnny Bravo, Hair Bear, or Captain Caveman? The Teen Angels, not the Teen Angles. So let's just... That would be a cute, though, would it not? Just a little geometry humor. They treat him so well, taking care of him as they hit the road and celebrating his victories while providing the competence that Captain Caveman might be lacking at times. Whoa, 5,350 of you, 46% of you got that right. Okay, so we lost half of you on that question. That was a really tough question, especially this late in the game. That's, that's hard to lose half of you, but it looks like we've got... Okay, almost 3,700 rejoiners. Awesome. We're so close to the end. You know, I know you've got those rejoins from Second Chance Week. Now's a good time to use them. That, that's all I'm saying. Our next question is going to be worth one bonus SB. Let's do question number nine. The robot Voltron is made up of five smaller robots that resemble what animals? Falcons, lions, or gorillas? And of course, ironically, two of these are football teams. We don't have a gorillas football team just yet. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe we could at some future point. 
Five pilots work together to form the mighty Voltron so they can protect the, pla the planet Aris from the evil King Zarkon, which they can also do from their individual robot lions. 6,620 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question. Monday is Labor Day here in the States, and because of that, Daily Trivia Live won't return until Tuesday, September 3rd at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to join us then, so no game Monday. Quick reminder, there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge, the quick hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Both will get you SB towards your daily goal. And check this out. Want another way to get SB? Refer your friends and family to Swagbucks. When someone you invite signs up as your referral and earns 300 SB in their first 30 days on site, you, yes you, get a $3 bonus. That's in addition to the 10% match you get from their earnings for life. For life, it's incredible. Make their lives better while adding to your own SB total and your life better for life because you get that match. But here we go, y'all. Back to our game. Question number 10, we've made it here. For all of the cartoon money, and also worth one bonus SB, here's question number 10. What kind of ghost is Casper? Friendly, stinky, or tired? I was telling Hal this. I I wish they'd done like a secret cameo to Casper in Harry Potter with the other ghosts. I just think that would have been fun, you know? Just sneak him in there. Casper terrifies nearly everyone he comes into contact with because they're used to ghosts terrifying them, but he's not like the others. He's a friendly ghost. 7,304 of you knew that answer and are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to all of you who are splitting the grand prize today. Let's take a look at some of our winners. Let's see, we've got Colm1992 Live, Bunny Chief, nice, Melissa47, Vaughn, Emma Rune7, Master Squish, X Chantel, amazing. You guys have some interesting usernames here. You're getting your prize in the form of points called SB, which you can redeem for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. I love them. They're very unique. You've done it again. Thanks for playing today. Come back Tuesday for a whole new week of games. This has been Daily Trivia Live. Have a great evening, everybody.